Welcome to Physics Dream Team Classroom, College Matrikulasi Pahang Kementerian Pendidikan Malaysia. In this video, we will be learning on how to write a good lab report by focusing on the criteria that you need to have in a lab report. Firstly, we will focus on working procedure. First, you need to write the title and objective. This can be obtained from the lab manual. Next, you have to write the related physical equation and compare it with y equals to mx plus c. Related physical equation is written in the theory of experiment. For example, in free fall experiment, the related physical equation is h equals to 1 over 2 g t squared. If you compare it with y equals to mx plus c, you will get h equals to y, 1 over 2 g equals to gradient or m, and t squared equals to x. Therefore, you know that the graph you need is h against t squared. Then, you have to sketch a graph don't forget to label your x-axis and y-axis and draw a line that represents the shape of the graph. You also have to write the formula for the percentage difference. Look at the example in the picture. x is an variable. The symbol or alphabet will depend on the experiment. Finally, for working procedure, you have to write the measuring apparatus you use in the experiment, including its range and sensitivity. Now, we will learn about how to write the data you obtain from the experiment in your table. Firstly, all the values you get from measuring must have sensitivity. Sensitivity will depend on the apparatus you use to measure the variable needed in the experiment. For the calculated value, you don't need to write the sensitivity. All values that you measured must be recorded and written with a consistent decimal places. To know how many decimal places you have to write for each variable, refer the sensitivity. The consistency of decimal places also applied for the calculated values. Before plotting a graph, you need to have the centroid point. To get the centroid point, you must calculate the average value of your reading for x-axis and y-axis. For example, your value for x-axis is t squared and y-axis is h. When calculating, remember to show your work in the lab report as shown in the example. Substitute all the values exactly the same as what you wrote in the table. Remember to write the unit. Then, you will write the central point in terms of coordinate x, y with unit. Refer the example given in the picture. Next, we will learn on how to plot a graph. First, 
you need to write the title of the graph on top of your graph paper. Title of a graph is written as y against x. y and x will depends on your experiment. For example, in free fall experiment, h is y and x is t squared. Therefore, the title of the graph is h against t squared. Then, you will draw y axis and x axis and label it with the correct unit. For the scale of the graph, the scales that are allowed are scales of 1, 2, 4, 5 and 10. After writing the scales, you will plot the central points and plot the points related to your reading. When plotting the points, you must use the symbol X to mark the points on your graph. Remember to circle the central point as what is shown in the picture. After plotting all the points and centroid, draw the best line. Ensure that your best line passes through the centroid point. Finally, draw the gradient. The size must be 8 cm long for y axis and x axis. Label the coordinate of your gradient as x1, y1 and x2, y2. Remember, when choosing the point for your gradient, do not choose the plotted point. The coordinate of a gradient cannot be 0, 0. Therefore, you cannot draw the gradient on the x-axis line. For percentage difference, you will use the formula written in your working procedure. Show your work when calculating it by writing the formula, substituting the theoretical value and experimental value, and write your percentage difference with unit which is the symbol percent. After doing the analysis, you have to write the discussion. Refer the example given on how to write the discussion. To decide whether your experiment is successful or unsuccessful, refer the percentage difference. If it is less than 10%, then your experiment is successful. If it is more than 10%, then your experiment is unsuccessful. Finally, the last component in your lab report is conclusion. When writing the conclusion, note that you want to answer the objective of your experiment. For example, the free fall experiment you want to determine the value of gravitational acceleration. Therefore, the conclusion will be the value of gravitational acceleration with unit. You will write the conclusion in sentence.